This is week one of my February grocery budget challenge. My goal is to only spend $250 feeding my family of four. We're two adults and two teenagers. Not only are we gonna be eating really cheap, but eating healthy is also really important to us. So almost everything we eat is going to be whole foods that are plant-based. We like to eat a whole lot of fruits and veggies and healthy grains and beans and stuff like that. So all of that is gonna be included in our meal. Our meals this week are going to be, the kids are gonna be eating cherry muffins for breakfast and the adults are gonna be eating protein smoothies. For lunch, I'm gonna be making one pot lentil soup, which is loaded with veggies. And then for dinner, I'm going to be making Buddha bowls that will consist of roasted butternut squash, chickpeas, and quinoa, and then also some more veggies. At the end of the video, I will show you the finished product of everything that I'm baking. We are in Florida, so we have access to a lot of fresh local produce, even in February. Deep, right? So here is the final haul for this week. Everything on this side I got at our local market and everything on this side is from Aldi's. My husband was with me when we went to the market and he checked out and cannot find the receipt. So when I get that, I will be able to tell you exactly how much I spent there. Um, but I do remember that these, this is celery, it was 99 cents. These lentils were $1.79. The butternut squash was on sale for 59 cents a pound. This is a honeydew melon, it was $1.99. Avocados were on sale for a quarter each. These are local strawberries. It's strawberry season in Florida and they were three for $8. I'm going to be making myself some smoothies this week, so I'm going to cut and freeze two of them, and then the other one we can just kind of snack on. The This romaine lettuce was also on sale for $0.99 cents each, so I got two of those. And I can't remember how much this kale was, but it's this huge bunch of local kale that was pretty inexpensive. And then this is everything I got at Aldi's. I do have my Aldi's receipt and know that I spent $21.43 at Aldi's. Uh, these carrots, a bag of yellow potatoes, onions, 
uh, these bananas, I'm gonna freeze some of them so I can put them in my smoothie. Uh, these chickpeas, quinoa, four things of almond milk. Usually I just get one gallon of, or one thing of almond milk, but I'm going to be putting it in my smoothie this week also. And then a pack of saltine crackers. Then this is everything that I'll be using this week that I already had this Garden of Life protein mix. I'll put that in my smoothies. I haven't been eating smoothies because it's been kind of cold, but this week it's beautiful and sunny. It's in the 70s, so I am excited to have smoothies again this week. And then I'll also put this ground flax seed in there and I'm also gonna be using this this week as an egg replacer for the muffins. Just some flour, sugar, minced garlic, salt, baking powder, and almond extract. And this is a container of pitted cherries. I'm getting ready to start cooking and I'm really not going to film me cooking much this week because I'm gonna have a lot of people coming in and out of the kitchen and I just can't film with a bunch of people around. So I will go ahead and cook everything and then when I'm all done, I will show you the finished product. I will be putting all of the recipe links down below. So if you want to make any of this stuff, you have access to all of those recipes. The only thing I'm not gonna be showing you is just the protein smoothies. But what I'm gonna be doing is any leftover fruit that we have, like I'm gonna be freezing our leftover cherries that I don't use in the muffins, and some of the strawberries that I have, and some of the bananas I got, I'm gonna freeze those so I can use those in our smoothie. I'll be putting about a cup of almond milk, some flax seeds, and then this protein powder that I really love. muffins are done. So for this recipe, we don't like to use oil a whole lot. So I substituted the oil for one mashed banana and a little bit of extra almond milk. Here is the completed lentil veggie soup. When we eat it, we eat it with crackers. And then like, here's the huge pot of it. The lentil soup is one of my favorite meals. It's very good but it's also super cheap and you can throw almost any vegetable in there with the lentils and it is delicious in a great like once a month soup when you have leftover veggies and stuff just to make. Here's the finished chickpeas, butternut squash, and then this container is full of um, quinoa. And I will just put all that together over some greens. I have the romaine lettuce and kale. I sprinkle a lot of nutritional yeast on top and I've got some avocados in there under the nutritional yeast. I guess I should mention for those who haven't watched my videos before, I do meal prep once a week for the entire week. So I only have to cook once. We also eat basically the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner all week. It just saves a lot of money and time to go ahead and bulk buy everything and just cook one meal. I've been asked if we get tired of eating the same foods over and over again, and we don't. It's just part of our habit and something that we're used to. Nobody complains, and it's actually kind of nice to know what we're gonna be eating all week. We also pick foods that we really enjoy eating. If you want to see more videos of what we eat on a inexpensive plant-based diet, you can check out this playlist here. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.